Okay, so we'll get ready and get on uh, the swing trading uh, portion of the webinar. Um, so the swing trading is a lot different than the algorithmic uh, chart modeling. Uh, it comes from a totally different premise. It's real classic, uh, traditional, but it does have um, it does have a nitrous underneath it, and that's the algos. And um, to explain that would be very difficult. But in short, when we're taking one of these equities and we're looking at it because uh, you know we do it in the traditional fashion with scanners like anybody else, um, we when we start to focus in on one, then we can run the math in a way that most people can't. Uh, and there's, of course, entities out there that can run the math much faster than we can. Uh, but we take the data, and in short, we take 60 months back. We run the different time frames, uh, 12 to 15 different time frames, up to 50 different indicators. We spit out the math. Uh, now, some stocks like, a, you know, micro caps or small caps, like, say, you know, TRCH, for example. Well, it's very difficult to run math on that. But you get into the bigger stocks, uh, the more well, widely held, um, it's much easier to run the math. The bigger, the more widely held like commodities, like oil, um, the easier it is to find its natural trading uh, uh, state. Um, so you'll find that a lot of our wins in the swings will be stocks where we can we can get decent math back on, and then we use a process like any other classic um, uh, trading um, discipline. So, um, you know, here's some of them um, recently since we started our swing trading. So this is our first batch, our first run of swing trading calls uh, for our service. Uh, so that part excites me, and I'm being a little bit cheeky on my my Twitter feed here because um, I'm an entrepreneur and uh, to me it's uh, you know should be high-fiving each other whenever somebody wins that I see I'm high-fiving them and that's just the way I am in my entrepreneurial life day to day when I go have lunch with buddies and they're winning we're high-fiving and um, but uh, tw the Twitter land doesn't seem to be quite the same way Anyway, so I get a little cheeky, but uh, what's exciting about this is these are the first calls we made for the service, and the service is, um, in my opinion, considering the calls, very economical, uh, so good value, uh, so I'm proud of that, and I'm also proud of the calls because it's their first calls. Uh, so Oak uh, was a big winner for us, 25%, and especially because of the way that that was called, and uh, you know, Oak was in a downtrend, we called it. Uh, and we um, uh, called the turn. I mean, we couldn't have hit it more dead on. Very specific buy, very specific target, and it exceeded the target. And um, I mean, if you look at this chart, uh, for us to make that call, um, I mean, uh, you can call it fluke if you want, but you make enough of these calls and it ain't fluke. So um, Juno, that was a, a washout. Uh, it's been, you know, it's been decent. It hasn't been big. There's an upside target to it that's not far away now. Um, you know, that wasn't real difficult to call. CBMX, uh, not difficult to call. But the the thing is, is the upcoming um, the upcoming earnings report. Um, you know, now they're starting to talk about. And I told the traders when I first did this uh, that we were looking for spring. And we were looking for uh, some big moves, and sure enough, now the news is starting. Now the earnings haven't come yet, but um, you know we're we got a 50% gain already, and you know the fire hasn't been lit under this one yet, as far as we're concerned. Now that we could be proven wrong, um, but you know again gave very specific targets. Now this one has been tough because when we actually published, like we uh, published. Uh, formally published it when it was up at the top of its channel and that's unfortunate because the traders that got the formal publication didn't get the opportunity that our trading room um, uh, uh, members got. Um, now it might return back down to this trend line but I, I just don't see it. Anyway we've got a target up here 
Um, so that was CBMX. So that one's been really good. Uh, BOFI has been decent depending on where you know you get in. We got in here, so it's been decent for us. Uh, and there's an explanation on the most recent report of how to trade it. Uh, same thing with SXL. That was a great call in my opinion. Very sound uh, classic call. Um, very easy to figure out that chart from a math perspective. Uh, GDX, well this is an example of our algorithmic uh, modeling. Uh, you know, here's a 60 minute chart and you know, these are quadrants and we knew that if it's trading here, uh, that 92% of the time it's going to hit the top of the quadrant, this here, uh, 92 or 93% of the time. So, you know, risk reward, we, that was purely math. It had nothing to do with what gold was doing. It had everything to do with math and the quadrants. So we know when it gets to a certain point in the quadrant, it has X amount of percentage of hitting the top of the quadrant. We knew that. We published it. We are very transparent about it. We are very transparent about all our trades. Um, NG, uh, that was actually a whisper from Hedgehog Trader. Um, by the way, phenomenal trader. Give them a follow. Uh, if you don't mind, to let them know that I was uh, the one that encouraged you because uh, he's been nothing but uh, uh, a gift to us. He comes along with the, the greatest uh, you know, tidbits of information that you just wouldn't get otherwise. Totally his call. We run the math on it. We went with it. We gave our members a very specific entry, very specific target, very specific trading uh, parameters. And uh, so that one's been fantastic. Um, now there is a secondary target up here, but you've got to be really careful with this one. You see these two lines here? It's going to get more difficult as it goes. Now I could break right to the upside. But that's got a lot to do with what uh, what the metals are going to do. <clears throat> um, what else was I cheeky about? CBMX, Juno, Oak. Okay, so that's some of them. And then you go to the blog and you'll get a feel for how what our reports look like. So we've committed to reporting once a week for our swing trading members. Um, we've been reporting more than that and it hasn't been on the exact day every week. So some weeks it's one report, some weeks it's four reports. Um, but um, uh, here's the most recent report that came out earlier today. Uh, so uh, in short, uh, we start with notices. Um, a lot of our members have written in to me about their profits. I mean, I've got some members with massive profits in the swing trading. It's been massively successful. So um, I'm going to start publishing those soon, as soon as we get a moment. Uh, so anyway, this just explains, um, you know, updates and uh, notices and explains how we're formatting this report every week. And really what it is, is it's my journal. So um, you know, we're updating as we go. So one of our trades is uh, Google and, uh, you know, so the dates are here and the notes and what we're looking for in the charts. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, so very specific targets, price targets. Uh, sometimes we have timing with those targets. Uh, specific buy zones. Uh, Amazon is another one that we're looking at. Uh, so we, we just recently entered a trade there. Not big, 100 shares. Um, and we have very specific things to look for, you know, um, where the stops would be and why. And for each one, there's a trading view chart. So, you know, the member can click on the chart and go right to my account and uh, get a live chart. And then they can also uh, follow along. So these charts, by the way, you can do one of two things with them. You can either hit this play button and it'll take you to where we are current today. And this was published today, so it's not going to move at all. But and that then you can you know you can move the chart around or whatever. Uh, but you can also click here and then make it mine, and now it's your chart. Uh, so TradingView comes up, and you can manipulate that chart however you want, save it or whatnot. Um, so anyway, that's Amazon. Uh, we're looking for certain levels there with our traders. Uh, Juno, exactly what's going on there, and keep in mind. Um, you know, this one started before our trade, our, our um, swing trading uh, service started 
Um, so you'd have to go into the logs of our day trading because we publish all our logs, again, really transparent, to see how we've been trading it. Now, since, um, since the swing trading has come out, we keep our trades separate, uh, just so you know. So there's two sets of trades. There's our trades, and there's trades actually separate for the algorithms. We just haven't published them yet, so we're running model accounts for those algorithms. Um, but anyway, uh, so Juno, very specifically, what we're in at, uh, how many shares, where we're ratcheting up our stops, and what to look for. Uh, this one here has a, a gap fill, basically, that's on deck. Uh, and it explains that. And again, there's the chart link. Um, CBMX, um, again, very detailed, right? So here's here's the entry, uh, what to do as it goes up. Uh, again, this one was tough for our swing trade folks, but this started down here, um, in here actually, in our day trading room, and then we transitioned it over to our swing trade. So our day traders had ample opportunity, and I've been publishing every day that I'm holding this. Um, and uh, Oak Tree Capital, uh, so this one was fresh in the new year. Um, I had traded it uh, in December sometime, and uh, when our swing trading service came out, we had published it, so our swing traders had ample opportunity. I have very, very um, encouraging reports from our members about this one. Uh, a lot of people took advantage of this trade, and uh, it has been absolutely fantastic for them. Uh, this one could could have significant upside, and so we give you the targets and our time frames for those targets. Um, uh, yeah, so there's more detail on the trade for Oak. Uh, our ETF we're looking at is RSX. Uh, we, what do we do with this one? Uh, so we haven't even traded this one yet. We're waiting for testing of the MAs. Uh, BOFI, um, we do have an entry in here, um, and very specifically what we're looking for. Uh, Sunoco, so SXL, um, I believe we do have an entry in here, yeah, 1,000 shares. Uh, we are currently waiting for a test of a thousand shares. Uh, we are currently waiting for a test of 200 MA on this one. So again, very clear with our traders exactly what we're looking for, where the sells are, where the buys are, uh, and what to watch for. Charts included for all of them. Um, SLCA, another example. Uh, EOG resources. Uh, this is a new entry for us last week. This one's riskier than most of them. Uh, so we entered long at 98.77 at the 100 MA, so right here, and it just got over the 100. And it's come up to the 20, and it's going to test that 20. So, you know, if we get up and over, we're going to be good on this one. Um, we're going to see the jury's out on this one so far. Uh, so that was EOG resources, yeah. And actually, there's no upside target uh, published for this one yet, but... Um, I know that it's considerable if um, the geopolitical goes the right way for us. Um, GREK, we haven't taken a trade on. We haven't published information on. TRCH, we're in. Again, very specific targets with TRCH and reasons why we're in it. NG has been a fantastic trade. Uh, and just perfect timing for our members. Lots of feedback from our members on that. Um, and ASM is a new one. That comes from Hedgehog, too. So there's a couple from Hedgehog on here. Uh, the S&P, um, some trading indications there and what we're doing. Uh, the VIX, our only interest in the VIX is uh, shorting it when it gets out of hand, and we're helping traders with what to look for there. Uh, gold uh, miners, I explained before how we had set a buy here for them and a target up in here. And it hit it and exceeded it, and that's been a great trade. And U.S. oil, of course, we're all over U.S. oil, um, and it's real simple. We just give our traders the um, the range to trade, and and that's it. And lots of the guys have reported back on U.S. oil and GDX. The big ones have been U.S. oil, GDX, NG, Nova Gold. Um, some of the guys are in these three: SLCA, SXL, and BOFI. Uh, 
but undoubtedly the big one has been oak tree. Oak tree has been the one that guys have really hammered down on. And so that's the kind of information that you get. So uh, it's just a journal. So what I'll do when the updates come out this week, there will be a number of them actually this week because we're doing a complete um, add-on here because most of these have won and they're winners and it's tough to get back in them. So we've got, uh, we thought we would be adding quarterly, uh, you know, maybe 10 to 15 quarterly, um, but it's looking like uh, because there's so many winners in this batch that, well, we don't have a choice. We have to add more. So there's going to be lots of updates this week. So that's what the um, that's what the swing trading uh, platform is about. Um, so it's really my journal, and it's been incredibly successful. Uh, as far as how you find it on the blog, you just go well. You just click on the blog, and I guess go through. Um, we just opened the first one today for people to look at. So swing trading newsletters, you'd click on here. I don't think any others have been unlocked. They will be though here shortly. Um, but I know that one from today was, so that's good. Let's just take a peek and see if they're unlocked here yet. Quick. No, so Sartage will have well, some of them maybe. Anyway, they'll all be unlocked here right away. You can kind of go through how they got built out. Um, as far as the cost, I think it's 100 bucks a month. No, I've got traders that have uh, basically kissed me for this service, swing trading newsletter. Yeah, hundred bucks a month or seven hundred dollars a year, so you get a break at a year. And uh, any of the folks that are in this webinar, if you don't have the promo code, the promo code will get you thirty-eight point two percent off. If you don't have it and you want to subscribe in the next twenty-four hours. Give us an email at info at compoundtrading.com and Sartage will get you a promo code. Uh, but I'm really not supposed to hand those out now. So anyway, there's a promo code for 38.2%. Um, I know there's a few of them left and that's why I'm saying it. But uh, I'm not on the accounting side of the business, so I have to be careful. I can't step on toes there. But I know there's a few left, so you're fine for today. And uh, so that's the um, that's the swing trading. We got about ten minutes left on the hour, so I will uh, take a quick minute break. And if you have any questions, I'll take questions in the last ten minutes. And thanks for coming out, by the way.